Hey, Trevor Matthews here with another Two Minutes with Trevor. I want to talk to you about damaged discharge valves and some of the side effects of a damaged discharge valve that could be missed and that I even missed when I was in the field. So your compressor takes a slug, a slug of liquid refrigerant or oil. And how that happens in a semi-hermetic refrigerant cool compressor is through refrigerant migration. And that, re that refrigerant that flows to the compressor as a vapor and fills up into the oil, into the sump or the, the crankcase, and that compressor starts pop. You get a smashed discharge valve. So you come as a service technician, put your gauge on and say, oh, it's not pumping right, let's look inside. You pull off the head and you see, oh, I got a damaged discharge valve. But if everything else looks good, you know, the cylinders look good, the piston look good, there's no wear, there's not any damage on the thing, you can just replace that valve plate, totally fine. But a check you need to do first is called the wrist pin check. Inside the compressor, there's something called a wrist pin that connects the piston to the rod. So as that compressor is pumping, it's moving up and down. There is little grooves inside there that oil gets in to feed and lubricate this wrist pin. If there is not any lubrication because a damaged discharge valve, so as it's trying to compress up, discharge is pushing down and that wrist pin is not moving at all. So you're not feeding the wrist pin and you get something called wrist pin wear. And this, this is what it looks like. I have one right here. As you can see, this one has wrist pin wear right there due to a dis damaged discharge. And if this happens, how do you test? You pull off the pump, you get the valve uh, top dead center and maybe turn over a little and you just push down on it. If it drops and makes a noise, you have wrist pin wear. That compressor is gonna need to be replaced. You can even hear it. I'd love to hear your questions and your comments. My name is Trevor Matthews. Let's get a conversation going.